Hello, so in this lecture we are going to be using Git with GitHub pages. So we're going to go over here what GitHub pages are and then the process that we are going to follow. So GitHub pages is basically an online website um, that is hosted and published through uh, GitHub. It's a very easy process. So we're going to start off with uh, our, creating our Git repo and setting up GitHub. We are then going to set up local website files and we are going to be writing some basic web page code um, then uploading these files to github and hosting the website so getting started with git so first we're going to download git in, onto your device whether it's linux or windows and you're going to go to gitforwindows.org for, um, for windows mac os users are already have it in their system so no need to download this and you're going to start the installation process by opening the downloaded file Remember to choose the nano editor while installing from the drop down menu in the installation box. And then for Linux, we've got sudo apt install git all. So setting up GitHub. So you're going to go to the GitHub website, which is github.com, and you can create a new account if you don't already have one. Now, after creating a new account, we're going to go ahead and create a new repository by clicking the new button here or I believe you can go to your profile and do it. And we are just gonna name this hello world or something simple along those lines. So the next step is to actually name project which will and mark the initialize the readme. So we're gonna name our repository. We're gonna go sample project here. And then we're gonna tick the initialize your repository with a readme. Okay, setting up a local folder with git. So switch open the git bash terminal and we're going to follow the next steps very carefully type the following commands sequentially after one after the other so cdc and go to github and you will see a link on the uh, on clicking the option clone or download again go to git bash terminal and type git clone and then your the link there and then we're going to cd and then name of the github project once you open the C drive on your system, you will see a folder created with your folder name and having a readme. Congratulations, your project is linked with your local system. So here we're going to just take a look. Our um, git clone and the link here, this is the cloning URL that GitHub provides. And then the name of the GitHub project, this is where on the C drive. So we put it onto the C drive and where on the C drive we want that file. Uh, the um, project to be put okay so we're going to here create a quick index.html um, this is just going to be my first head heading and my first paragraph we're going to name it as index.html and select all files in save as before hitting the save button and remember to save the index.html file in the same folder where your project is located so just next to the readme and then open that index.html using notepad edit and paste the code below which we're just going to do a basic html document type with our heading one being my first heading and a paragraph text saying my first paragraph and then we're going to click on save and then we're going to push this code using commands so we're going to open the git bash terminal again and type the following commands in this order we're going to say git init for initialize and then git add and then we're going to do a git commit m message and we're gonna get push. You'll be prompted for a GitHub username and password every time you upload or update a file. If you make any changes again in the file or or local system, then you need to upload. Then you again need to upload on GitHub by running the above commands in that order. And now we're gonna go back to the GitHub website, and we are going to go into the go onto the repository and we're going to go into the settings and we are going to go to there's a pay i believe github pages has been moved uh so it's its own uh category in the settings so you're going to go to the pages page and we're going to um select the source as the master branch and then we are going to save those settings and you should be good to go and that's all for this lecture so thank you and good luck